I'm new at raising baby chickens and I was trying to find the right wad of bulb to use for the babies and as they grow older and I really couldn't find too much information on that so I decided to buy one of each basic watt and do my own little study so I have a, a 60 watt bulb here and then this is a 150 watt and then I also have a 250 watt that is in the heater right now. So what I did is I left the bulbs in and I have a reptile thermometer underneath the lamp here that I have set up on a stick with the screws on the side there to keep it from falling off. This is what I'll be using to raise my baby chicks in. So one thing I would do is I bought this lamp here but it has the plastic um, you know base you know here and it gets really hot when you have the higher wattage bulbs so I have already ordered one with the ceramic and I would highly recommend that not wasting your money on this one and then have to replace it with the ceramic one so what I did is I took each bulb put them in here and I went with the ceramic bulbs because they don't emit the light and I thought that would be best for the baby chicks so what I did is I have it under here and my distance is nine inches from the light source itself on a bed of shavings that they'll actually be in and I started with the 60 watt bulb and kept it at the nine inches and it maxed out at about 80 degrees and then I used the 150 watt bulb and it maxed out at 105 degrees with the 250 watt bulb that is still in and on, it's about 130, 140 degrees, who knows, you know, since it's off the chart, what it actually goes up to. So if you're looking at buying bulbs for your baby chicks and you don't know the watt to buy, with the ceramic bulbs, these are the ones that I chose to look at. I'm just going to go with the 150 watt bulb and I can keep that at about 105 degrees in the center. So no need to waste your money on the 250 watt bulbs if you're going to change it out as they get older anyway. Um, so I have a 250 watt bulb that was just used as an experiment. So, But good to know and now you don't have to worry about it. I hope this information was useful to you and um, good luck.